Hey guys, welcome to another video. So in this video, uh, as the title says there, the LG G2 uh, for T-Mobile is now ready for KitKat 4.4.2, I believe it is. So uh, what you'll need to do to get this is, um, I got my phone plugged in here, but I'm gonna show you here. What you'll need to do is, first you need to have the uh, LG PC Suite. So uh, just go to your uh, web browser, go to Google and uh, type in LG PC Suite and then uh, put download at the end of that and it'll go ahead and tell you, uh, it'll show you what to get to download. So you download the software and uh, plug your phone in first. So you wanna plug your phone in first and once it plugs in, you wanna select LG software connect to PC. You wanna check that third one right there, right? So after you check that, you can do that while it's installing your new software onto your computer. So once you get that, it's gonna tell you on your phone, hey, you know, software is complete and um, you know, you can go ahead and connect to your computer. But since you already have it connected, all you'll need to do is just sit your phone down and let it go. And once you get your software installed, then you wanna go to the first screen that comes up, it's gonna, it's in the back here, it's gonna say upgrade check. And it's right, it's right down on the bottom down here. Let's see if I can back out a little bit. Yeah. So it's right down here on the bottom. So hit the upgrade check and then it's going to pop up this window here and let you know that there's an upgrade available. Now I am on the T-Mobile version of the LG P2, so this should be the 4.2.2. Uh, so you can see the mod, the update here, and I know it is, but I'm just saying it should be, but it is. Currently I'm on D8011OG, and it's gonna take me to D80120A, which should be 4.4.2. So you just wanna run the upgrade without a backup, run the upgrade after a backup. So let's do a backup. And if you, depending on how much stuff you have on your device, that'll let you know how long this backup is gonna take. So um, the phone's gonna restart now, and it's gonna go ahead and uh, back up, start the backup process. So phone's rebooting, as you can see there. So I won't bore you with the, uh, the actual backup version, but just letting you know here, do not unplug anything. It's saying da 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 stop. So on the, on the screen here though, it shows 0%, and this will start to uh, fill up here, but I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and cut all this part out and get get back to you once the uh, backup. So after is you done. back up your device, you'll come to now where it's going to download the upgrades. So this will take a little bit. So we're going to pause and uh, come back once it's complete. All right, guys, this is a, a really lengthy process um, downloading the upgrade. Uh, in the middle of it, it crashed on me, so I just started over. I was at like 70 percent, and it, uh, it it crashed on me, so I had to start over. But I'm back up and going. I got it back to 100 percent. As you can see here now, it is actually upgrading. So uh, if you do a backup, it takes a while. You need at least six gigs of free storage on your phone. Not to say that this will take up six gigs, but I think it's more like a gig or less. But I'll check my storage uh, once I'm back up out of here. But uh, uh, it is actually doing the upgrade now. The phone rebooted. Here's what it looks like on the phone. See, it says do not plug, do not unplug. It's actually doing the upgrade. So this will finish the upgrade. And uh, I was on 4.2.2 like all of you guys. But this should take us up to 4.2. And I'm gonna go ahead and stop it and only eat up too much video with this, but uh, I'll come back once this starts to uh, update and get closer to the end. All right, guys, so it's a little ways through the process and the phone has just rebooted and it's uh, cycling through again to T-Mobile. So I'm pretty sure that uh, uh, it's updated now, but we'll let it finish. It's at 88% up here, but it's probably just a reboot cycle. So once I get this completed, see it's at 90%. This should uh, have the latest update. It's speeding up a little bit. I think it's just kind of waiting for the phone. It's at 95%, it's going pretty fast. So it's waiting for the phone to boot up. It's optimizing. And then I'm gonna take you to the software. 
on the computer it's at 97 percent on the phone it's really flying through and optimizing all the uh, Android upgrades as you can see there hope that's coming across okay but it's at 100 percent on the computer so now it's just optimizing here it says upgrade complete on the computer so now we're just optimizing here It's a little bright, so I'll lower the. I know you probably can't see that, but it's a little bright. It's finishing the boot. It's rebooting one more time, and now we are in. So let's go ahead and. Okay, so it's in. So uh, let's go ahead and go to software. I'm letting it finish up top. It's, definitely on 4.4.2 because now I don't have green icons anymore you can see there they're all white so just to show you that it's for real I'll wait and I'll just connect on this here in a second let's, let's just cancel this and I'm gonna get you into the software let me lower the brightness well, I just have everything going off in here. All right. I'm going to go to about and software. And there you have it 4.4.2. KitKat. There it is, folks. So if you have an LG uh, G2 on T Mobile. You can see here we are now on 4.2, 4.4.2 for KitKat. Wow, what a surprise! Uh, I think these companies are really catching on, and they're uh, they're doing what they got to do to make us happy. So there it is, folks. 4.4.2 on the LG G2. Wow, get a load of that. So remember, uh, go ahead and install your software. Um, and you can install the PC suite, the LG LG PC suite, install that, download it, install it, then plug your phone in and select check for updates, uh, upgrades, and it's gonna go ahead and give you this upgrade to 4.4.2. This is the official update, comes directly from LG and T-Mobile. Why they're not announcing it yet, who knows, but uh, it's done. So 4.4.2 for the LG G2. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Woohoo! Kit Kat.